At this point, we've named all of the bones in our armature, and I've switched back to the object mode. Uh, one thing that's worth checking at this point is what exactly is your armature name? If you look down in links and materials, you'll see that it is, is, is something down here called OB colon armature. Right there, that is the name of your armature. Um, you can leave it armature. For the purposes of this, I'm going to change it to skeleton so that we have no ambiguity about what's going on. So my armature, now named skeleton. And in fact, if you scroll up and look at my outline, you'll see that I now have an object called skeleton in there. And what's going to be really useful about this in a second is once I go back in here and select the body, the body, is, once selected, needs to have the the armature, the armature uh, attached to it as a modifier. So I'm going to go down and under modifiers, I'm going to add a modifier. I'm going to add an armature modifier. It's the last option on the list. And down here, remember how our armature's name started off OB? I'm actually going to, th th that was our hint right here, that that was the name we wanted. Remember, I renamed it to skeleton. If you did not rename it, if yours is still just named armature, you would type armature right here and make sure you get your capitalization exactly correct. This is like naming bones, you have to get exactly right. Hit enter to register that, and I'm going to turn off envelopes. We're only going to have this skeleton work through vertex groups. And we do not, do not, do not apply this to the, the uh, mesh. We want to leave that modifier running right there. If you have, as have I, made your model out of more than one object. I have this body, but then I've also got the feet and the head as separate objects. The armature actually needs to be applied individually to each of these objects. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and as an example right here, I'm going to select the head. And when I go back down here to the head, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to add a modifier. I'm going to add that armature modifier. And once again, when asked, I'm going to use the skeleton armature. So it's the same armature is attached to the head as is attached to the body. That way, when I move the head, it's attached to the body, and we're all happy. And again, I'm going to turn off envelopes so we are only having this uh, move the head using vertex groups. And I'll do the same thing again for both of the feet. So that every part of my model is modified by the skeleton armature. And the next thing we'll do is we'll start actually connecting vertex groups to this armature.